After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless cl- But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit at a whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months. Bellariva was my chance to take a break. My passport. Not many blank pages left now. I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman, at your service. The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. My favorite overalls. These will never go out of style. Looking forward to taking more close-ups of my fingers with this. I picked up these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. Finally, I'd made it to Bellariva. I'd come for the food. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it. So I figured I'd head out the next- My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple station. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came. My story in Bellariva- It was my first morning in Bella Riva and I couldn't wait to leave my home in the main square, meanwhile. Preparations were underway for the festival. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Is- It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a batter- My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you- Why did you do that? How did you do that? I didn't see. Batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares.
Will you dream a dream for me? If I sit by your side and hold you so tight. When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. No problem. Who is it? It's my mom. She, she's not here anymore. Izzy trailed off. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious. I wrote out a full wrist. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been sh part I wouldn't be able to. F My first repair complete, I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful. In spite of its... The front door was opened by a harried looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least? It survived a hundred years in this family. But fu- Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks.
Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label.
Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Thank you, Maria. It looks as perfect as it ever did. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. So he was Bellariva's mayor. Sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's a when I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy, to avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of protecting. Joseph's work must have been taken. My second day in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. Another walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria? Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. <laughs> Judging by the empty table, it's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over At least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for- Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? You can fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. wires are in the right configuration. Looks like this new circuit board is all hooked up. Looks 
like something is still missing. When I handed the phone back to Carmen, she seemed almost reluctant to take it. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? Nope, it's ready. That's if I can pay my phone bill anyway. <laughs> and the rent and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. You're I sat at one of the empty tables while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for... I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost... You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in the post? When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee. Her hands... Actually... The next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call. Curious, I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way. The woman in front of me was immaculate, not a hair out of place. So this was Carmen's sister? The two of them couldn't have. Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. The viewfinder is complete. I don't suppose you've fixed anything this valuable before. If I use the screwdriver, I could adjust the angle of the mirror. Perfect. Now the viewfinder should be working. I think I've missed a screw somehow. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limit. I had no idea what three months salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was strange really that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and she took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolute. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, 
she won't. That didn't sound good. The sun was setting over Bellariva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. Maria! Oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds one speck of- Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. Carmen led me to a back room, where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but I'm hopeless with electronics. So there was supposed to be a sign outside. This might explain the lack of customers. I'd like to put it up before Helena gets here. Can you give it a try?
a bit uh, flat. Maybe if it flashes, it will really catch people's eye. Great idea. I think I have a spare part that could do that. I'll need to check the wires are in the right configuration. Still needs something else. Maybe we can add one of these.
It works! I'll screw everything together again and you'll be set. The sign fixed, we headed outside and mounted it carefully over the cafe door. Oh, that's perfect, Maria. It looks just how I imagined it. When I had this sign made, it all seemed so sick. A smile froze on her face as she spotted something over my shoulder. I turned to see. Of course, my sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that isn't actually open. For better or worse, Helena had her Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept indifferently past her. Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. The first thing we're doing... And with that... She disappeared inside. I hope. It was the day before the festival, and the whole town was busy getting ready. I had more. I'd barely reached their front door when I heard someone calling me. It was Izzy, peeking out from the side of the house. She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden. You have to squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy, I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but the life of a repair woman. On the table inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my... Can you fix it for... play games as well. Can you 
show me how to play? I tried before, but it was so hard. Her toy fixed, I watched Izzy retreat into its screen, taking refuge. Well, I'd better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. Why would he think that? Because, uh, well, I kind of dropped... Izzy looked down, scuffing her shoes on the worn... My dad said I have to go to this stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress. My With that, Izzy dove back through the rose bush and disappeared into the wild. It made me think. Had I really tried hard enough? I was so focused. <laughs> Leaving Izzy hiding in the garden, I walked around to the front of the house and rang the doorbell. It was only then I noticed my favorite overalls. I was, uh repairing a lawn totally embarrassed i walked into an orderly room you must be so busy getting ready for the festival are you looking forward to it of course. i'll be declaring the best chef in bella riva by this time tomorrow i'll have a tight schedule The main plate has completely cracked. I'll need to replace it. The cogs look good, though. If I'm careful, I can reuse those. Are you sure it will all fit back together?
I've not gone a day without this watch since my wife gave it to me.
As I handed the watch back to Joseph, my fingers traced over the engraving on the back. I hoped fixing... I can't believe it's working, Maria. Thank you. My wife was a brilliant woman. Watches measure minutes and hours like they're infinite. I didn't know we had so little time. Just then, the phone rang. Even when he was at home, his work was never... As I left, I turned and saw him pacing the floor of his office. I hoped it's quiet. When my last job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment, the door was opened by someone I didn't expect to see. Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she does. Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more up my- We're having a clear out, or at least I am. Carmen's not help. She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her. Look at this slide project. Oh, typical. Carmen's even managed to get a slide stuck in here. That light bulb is completely smashed. Okay, I'll need to redirect the light to the lens at the top for the projector to work. Still a few parts missing.
I was so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looks so sad. Here's the clicker you'll need to attach. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. Still a few parts missing. When we were younger, Carmen was always following me around. I suppose she looked up to me. A cool older sister. She used to ask me when I was coming home. But I was always too busy. Sure, I screw everything back together. I should make sure I screw everything back together. Helena was transfixed, staring at the two young sisters. I... Oh, I never meant to let her down. But you haven't... <sighs> That's the problem. There is no money. Common things. I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. You know, the funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. Helena fell silent, shrinking under the gaze of her younger self. I know I have to... The day of the festival finally came, and after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up a f The competition would start any minute. Most saw all of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still frantically- Helena was supposed to help me run the stall today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. I can't believe- Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here any minute for the judging, but I- She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? Not on my day- I have a stove ready to build and everything.
it all fits. Now to light the gas. I think that pot is really boiling now. Smells great if I say so myself. Here are the ingredients that Carmen's given me. What to add first? Looks good. I'll scoop a spoonful when I'm ready to serve.
part done, Carmen took over and added the finishing touches. It was just in time, and a moment later, Joseph arrived. That was so tasty. Can I have some more, please? Well, you've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter. We have a few more meals to taste. Joseph and Izzy looked so happy together. Maybe the festival was doing Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I wish Helena was here to see it. She wants what's best for you. She's just not very tactful about it. Yes, I, I, know, I know, I know. I just wish she hadn't lied to me. But then, I... The festival finished. I only had one day left. I couldn't go without saying goodbye to Carmen. So, that evening, I made my way to the cafe. Maria! Maria! My favorite sous chef! Come on through! Even Helena was there, serving the coffees. This Carmen led me through to a balcony upstairs, where she brought out an old record play. She was selling her camera to clear the cafe's debts. But then she didn't have much left for her. I wanted to give her this, to cheer her up. Do you think it has one last? Okay, let's see what happens when we turn this on. Here's the problem. This wiring isn't connected properly. That's the speed dial connected. Now we should be able to change it. speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. I think that should do it. This record should play beautifully. in the right direction. It must be to do with the motor. Let's see if one of these spares can turn things around. If I turn the volume up, I should be able to hear it now. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. This motor doesn't seem to work. Maybe I'll have better luck with a different one.
Well, it's playing in the right direction. I should check it's turning at the correct speed. player's crackling tune must have caught Helena's ear. As she appeared a few moments leaning over the music, they looked just like the young cyst Carmen told me about your camera. That was a really generous thing to do. I love I'm going to stay here with her for a while. Make up for love. Carmen and Helena's relationship wasn't suddenly going to be perfect, but they were both prepared to try. And to think, it had all started because of a call. I guess in the end, maybe it wasn't so hard to just pick up the phone and dial. I hadn't spoken to my own parents in a year. But the silence between... My final morning in Bella Riva. I received one last call. When I arrived, I found Joseph tidying up his wilderness of a garden. The playhouse. You've made quite the impression. Isabel, Izzy, tells me she's going to be a rip. She could. She's a brilliant child. Spending the day with her at the festival, I haven't had so. Inside, the house was transformed, flooded with light and the. It's a music box. It used to play beautifully, but I'd love for Izzy to... Maria, could you add this family picture of us? mechanism is completely broken. I'll need to take it all apart before I can fix it.
Perfect. The mechanism is good as new. I think that's everything back together again. I should play it to make sure. My wife used to sing this song to Izzy each night before bed, but I always work too late to join them. to be the father my wife wanted me. I've ended up so much like my own father, working all the time. My daughter comes first. Well, don't... I'll never ever get bored of you, Dad. Izzy came running into the room where Joe's... She gazed at the music box, her eyes shining. I'd never seen her look so happy. Joseph was a good father, and I could tell he was determined to be an eat my time in Bellu... My time in Bella Riva was almost at an end. Another chap, the people I'd met, the items I'd restored, pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed. I remembered the day as I packed. Joseph's idea of light reading for the train. It does look thorough.
the recipe for Carmen's special. I'm under strict instructions to guard it with my life. My train ticket. Can't believe it's time to leave Bellariva behind. The soundtrack to my travels. I'll be listening to this on the journey. Elena gave me these designer shirts. Not sure I'll pull them off as well as she does. My parents would love Bellarina. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip. My suitcase was full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as I made my way to the station. I was sorry Helena and Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work get in the way of his relation. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's perspective. I knew it would be easier to jump on the next train, put even more distance between us. But I did I even remember their number? I wasn't sure until I reached for the... Mom? Dad? Maria? Is that you?